Betsy actually knew our ghost in the living world. And she said, he's telling me to tell you that he's not going anywhere and he stays here because of you. So she was standing behind the counter. Customer comes in and says, you know, you have a ghost and he watches over you a lot. Oh, music box. Manny? Did you just come downstairs? Can you light up these purple lights by standing next to them? Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Thank you very much. I thought I just saw a black shadow behind you, Dave. Again? What? Did you hear that? Something was moving over here in our equipment. What are these for? Manny, do you remember Betsy? <laughs> oh, I got chills. Me too. Do you remember Ryan and I? Yes. All right, Dave, we're back in Marietta, Ohio. Oh yeah, it is good to be back. This is a case that dates back to the very earliest years of Paranormal Quest. We investigated this building 12, 13 years ago. Yeah, something like that. And it's a local business who called us, like I said, over a decade ago, and basically stated that there was something going on here that they couldn't understand that there was paranormal activity happening inside their business. Absolutely. Well, the store has changed hands. It has a new owner, but the employee that was working there, Betsy, is still here. And it changed its name to Green Acres. But they say they still have objects falling off of, wait, this is it right here. Yeah, right, right here. Wow. They say they still have objects falling off of shelves. They still have strange and unusual things occurring inside this store things that they can't explain. And so we're here, we're back. We caught wind from our friend Viva, who said that they want us to come back and investigate again because they're continuing to have experiences with the unexplained, with the paranormal inside this store. So that's exactly what we're gonna do tonight. And hopefully, Dave, we have a new experiment, a new piece of equipment. Yes, we do. Something that I've never heard of any paranormal investigator actually using and trying and experimenting with. We are gonna be doing that tonight to see if we can capture proof of some sort of energy trapped inside this building. I'm excited. It's been so many years since we've been in here. I forget what it looks like, which shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. So <laughs> let's go. Let's refresh that memory, Dave. Let's head in. Let's do it. I bought the store eight years ago. Um, Betsy came with the store and Betsy is mm, super excited about paranormal stuff. She told me about the store having a ghost. Uh, you know, I was like, okay, whatever. Didn't really care. Um, then I started having to go to the basement. The first time I started walking down that basement, I was like, oh no, <laughs> this is not the place for me. I don't like this. So I will con every one of my employees. Hey, can you go down to the basement? Because I don't want to go. I'm terrified of it. So Betsy tells me our ghost is named Manny Two Feathers. Betsy actually knew our ghost in the living world, um, way before he passed away. When I first met him, and this was really weird because I had talked to him on the phone, business with the store. But when I actually first saw him, 
it was, you know how when you see somebody you haven't seen for maybe 10, 15, 20 years? Yeah. It's just like, well, I already know you. I already knew what you really looked like. And I had never seen a picture of him. Just wow. talked to him on the phone. And it just it just seemed like I had, had was seeing somebody I hadn't seen in a long time. And the next morning is when I was the first stone reading. And when you when Manny did stone readings, uh, after you picked out your nine stones, he would reach across the table and you would hold hands with him while he prayed. And he always prayed in Apache first, and then he would pray in English. And as soon as we held hands, you know, like when you were a kid, you'd walk across the carpet and zap each other. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like that, only it wasn't a real sharp tingle. It was just like there was an energy thing. And I went, whoa, what's that? And Manny says, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> and he, that, that, was, that was that. That was just kind of weird, but maybe somewhere we knew each other before. A lot of people swear, you know, they, when they meet someone that they already knew them from a previous life. Now, I don't know how that works out. But it, it did feel like that. So she was standing behind the counter. Customer comes in and says, you know, you have a ghost. She says, yeah, we've heard. She says, no, he's standing behind you. And he watches over you a lot. And his name is Manny Two Feathers. And she says, he's still talking to me. And I said, well, what's he saying? And she said, he's telling me to tell you that he's not going anywhere. Mm. And I said, oh, okay. And she goes, I said, well, what do you mean he doesn't, he's not going to go anywhere? And she says, he's going to stay here and he stays here because of you. I don't really know Betsy real well at this point. Could be crazy, not sure. But then I was in the office alone early in the morning, early in the morning. And I was writing my lovely, most fabulous son, a little note, a little love note. And it was a card and it was open and I had been writing half of it. And then I decided I need to go make my tea. So I set the pen across from the card that I had written half already and walked back, made tea, came back in and the card was completely turned upside down with the pen. And I'm thinking, I don't know how I could have done that. Like, I couldn't have, I wouldn't have flipped it around and I couldn't have bumped it. And, but okay, so that just kind of went in the little back of my mind. So that was an odd thing. Within the past couple of years, we've had things fly off of the shelves. Like a vase will go four feet. It's not like, oh, it just fell. It flew. And that's happened like three or four times. Sometimes you just feel a little extra energy in the store. Uh, I've heard like back there in that little short hallway we have, it sounds like somebody was walking, although you could never see anybody. And our floors, you know how they creak, but still there's, you don't see anybody. And right after Manny passed, I was there by myself one day and I was putting kachinas back up on the shelf and a male voice in my right ear said, Betsy. And I jumped because I thought, well, who came in that I didn't hear? And there was nobody there. Have you ever had any experiences down in the basement and what do you think it is that makes the basement so creepy? Well, that is the odd thing because when it, when it was turquoise spirit, uh, the younger girl, Jessica, that I worked with, she absolutely refused to go to the basement. She said, I will quit before I go down there. And as you're looking in the front of the store, like you're sitting in the store and you're looking up front, the window section to the left, she always felt there was something there. Like it comes up from the basement into that window. And she always said it was evil. Now, I have never felt anything down there. I've been very comfortable down there. And little Emily that just left the store, she did not like going down there. She was very uncomfortable. Hmm. And the brand new girl, Haley, the, her first time in the basement, she came up and was telling Jennifer that she felt something down there. She wasn't sure what it was. Not doing the basement. Basement's creepy. 
So my question, I guess, to you, Betsy, would be, do you feel like Manny is around you or do you feel like he stays here at the store? I think he stays there. I have not felt him here or I haven't felt him anywhere else I've been. Just right there. Thank you so much, Betsy. And like I said, we'll let you know what we capture and, and hopefully hopefully, Manny comes out and talks to us tonight. Okay, I hope so. Tell him I, t- I said to say something. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in the store right now. Maybe he'll hear your voice. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear that, Manny? Betsy says you got to talk to us. <laughs> All right, okay. Betsy. We'll talk Bye. to you later. All right, good All right. luck. Thank you. Bye. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. All right, so we are officially ready to start our investigation here of the Green Acres of Marietta, formerly the Turquoise Spirit, which we investigated 13 years ago, back when Barb owned it. There were many stories, and of course, Betsy's worked here since then. We talked to Betsy on the phone. Jennifer has a lot of stories of being freaked out by this basement. And so our first order of business was to come down here and see if we can capture anything down here that may give her a better idea of why she's freaked out to come down here. And she's not the only person that has felt that, that has felt freaked out, creeped out, too uneasy to come down here to this basement. So we have equipment scattered throughout, and we're going to be performing EVP sessions. We're probably going to run on Ghost Tube, but we have an, an experiment running right now, a new piece of equipment that we've never seen anyone use on a paranormal investigation that we wanted to try out. So Dave, should we go over and show them what we have? Yeah, let's do it. Also, that doesn't mean that they haven't done it. That just means that we personally have never seen it. Yes. So don't come for us. That's right. Oh. And what you hear upstairs is Jennifer, the owner. She is staying here with us, so she is upstairs. Uh, So you might hear her walking around periodically. Yes. Absolutely. But right here, on top of the K2 meter, hanging down over top of the K2 meter, is what looks like a set of microphones, and they are microphones, but they're different than what you would normally consider a microphone. This is from a company over in Slovakia called Loam. These microphones are considered to be, I guess, experimental audio recording. They are stereophonic electromagnetic microphones, meaning that they can hear in frequencies well beyond human hearing, and those frequencies do include up to 90 kilohertz, so 90,000 hertz. And these microphones can hear many things that our ears can't hear. For example, I haven't put my phone on airplane mode yet just for this reason, but I want you to listen to what my phone sounds like when I put it up to the loam microphone. You can see there, it's causing the K2 meter to spike. But this is what a cell phone sounds like with the electromagnetic microphones. So I'm going to go ahead and put my phone in airplane mode now. They are going to be hearing in electromagnetic frequencies, which people believe spirits are made up of EMF, which is why we use EMF detectors. Never been proven, but it is an experimental test right? EMF detectors. They've always been experimental because no one has proven that ghosts or spirits are made up of EMF. But in theory, if we can capture the EMF spikes, we should be able to capture the sound of the EMF on these electromagnetic microphones. And we do have headphones down here, so if we wanted to pop the headphones on and take a listen and see what they're hearing, which right now is nothing, We'll be able to do that. So if there's anyone down here with us, my name is Ryan and this is Dave. Hello. Manny, we've been here before. It's been over a decade, but we know Betsy. We've known Betsy for many years and Betsy's told us that you had a special connection with her. Manny, did you hear us talking to Betsy earlier? If you did, we have several different things scattered around the room with different brightly colored lights on them. 
if you try to pick them up or move them or something like that, it'll let us know that you can hear us, Manny. So could you do that? Could you try touching one of these devices? Ooh, tripwire just went all the way over. Wow. I mean, it was in the middle, so I don't know if it was the whole strand, but a huge chunk of this EMF tripwire just went off. Well, Manny, if that was you, thank you. These are the moments that we're going to have to be listening for on the Loam Electro Ushi EMF microphone. Specifically, when the equipment is triggered, is there an audible electromagnetic sound captured on the microphone? In this case, there was a very slight popping sound captured by the Electro Ushis at the exact moment the tripwire lit up. Take a listen for yourself. Ooh! Tripwire just went all the way over. Wow. You can walk down that and make the colors change to different things. It'll change to blue, green, yellow, red. And this is just ways that we can see that you're here, Manny. It's a little bit, I guess, a little bit different than what you were used to when you used to be here at the Turquoise Spirit. Ooh, this strand over here just went. Manny, if you can hear us talking to and, and talking to you, and you're here, right in front of us here, there's a ladder with a bunch of different things stacked on it, bright lights and things like that. Could you try touching one of those green lights over there? And we think that if you get close to the ladder, we'll be able to hear you. We might be able to hear your energy, Manny, that energy that you and Betsy felt when you touched hands. You can even go and lean up against the ladder there and have a conversation with us. Oh, music box. Manny? Did you just come downstairs? Thank you. Can you come towards my voice? That's upstairs. I think they're walking. They probably hear the music box. Can you come here? Set it. Okay. Something has triggered it, but it's not stopping now. Okay. We've noticed that with this, sometimes it does that. Something will trigger it, and then it will just, once it's triggered, it just doesn't stop until you reset it. Yeah, it's a little bit different than our last music box. That's the PMB Polter tune, but... I mean... Did you turn it back on? Yes. Okay. I can show you here. Okay. Well, Manny, if that was you making that device go off right there, thank you so much. Could you go over... Whoa. That was the tripwire. Yeah. Could you go over to the ladder here and yell something in your language? They seem to think maybe you like to throw things from time to time. You could throw any one of those things on that ladder off onto the ground.
Yeah, we won't mind, Manny. Or you can speak to us. Ooh. That tripwire, there's no electricity running underneath of this floor or else it would be constant. I have no idea what's setting off that tripwire. Mm -mm. Up until this point, the audio recorded by the Electro Ushi microphone has only captured slight, almost unnoticeable disruptions when the EMF tripwire lights up. This is our first experiment using these recording devices. So at this point, we aren't sure whether the light bulbs inside the tripwire are causing the disruptions we're hearing in the audio. But if that's true, the sound would be somewhat uniform each time it happens. This time, the EMF microphone captures a much more noticeable frequency that is synced up with the tripwire lighting up. Ooh, that tripwire, there's no electricity running underneath of this floor or else it would be constant. I have no idea what's setting off that tripwire. Mm -mm. The question of whether this sound is caused by the device itself or is a sudden and unexplainable spike of energy in the environment will only be answered with more experimentation. What we do know now, though, is that this experiment is working. The Loam Electro Ushi microphone is allowing us to hear energies otherwise undetectable by our own ears, and what we'll capture, soon, will leave us even more puzzled. For those of you that have never seen one of these, it is a bunch of EMF detectors strung together on a strand. So it'll allow you to actually track movement of strange energies. Rolling EVP session downstairs in the basement of the, of the uh, Green Acres. Going to place the audio recorder over here by the tripwire on the floor. And then backing away. Manny, if that's you lighting those up, I just put a box on the ground that we think you can put your voice on. And if you have a message for Betsy, you can go ahead and speak to that and we'll play it for her and hopefully she'll hear your voice again. What was your favorite part about coming to the turquoise spirit? and working with the ladies. Manny, do you remember Barb? Or Betsy? If you remember either one of them, can you say yes to that device Ryan just laid down? Is there someone that you watch out for? Is there someone you watch over here that made you stay behind? Did you like spending time in the store here? Gonna listen back. Ending. It's rolling EVP session downstairs in the basement of the, of the uh, Green Acres. Going to place the audio recorder over here by the tripwire on the floor. And then backing away. Man, if I do like it, uh, I just put a box on the ground. Maybe you can put your voice on. If you have a message for Betsy, you can go ahead and speak to that and we'll play it for her and hopefully she'll hear your voice again. What was your favorite part about coming to the Turquoise Spirit and working with the ladies? Betsy? 
you remember I ever want them to you say yes to that device Ryan right? just laid out? Nothing. Nothing EVP. Interesting. Let's walk this way. I think we should roll on Ghost Tomb. Oh, yes. We can if you want to. All right. Baseline reading anything that comes through that might be relevant. For those of you that are watching the way this works, the reason that we like to use Ghost Tube is because we are good friends with the creators of it and we know exactly how it works. So the magnetometer in the device searches for fluctuations in magnetic fields. There's a word database with words assigned to each magnetic reading. So it will speak words when there's fluctuations in magnetic fields. It's not to say every word that comes through here is relevant. It could just be environmental noise. You know, you walk up to something that has magnetism to it. It could speak a word, so. We have had some very relevant things come through here that we couldn't explain. There was a lady who said that there was something dark in this corner, that there was some sort of dark energy over here. This used to be the first floor of this building. What happened here? Whoa. What was that? Something just moved over there by the ladder. Yeah, but what? I don't know. Guilt. Guilt? What are you guilty about? I don't think it's any of this. Are the, are the EMF mics in the same spot? Yeah. No, we did definitely caught it on that camera, but... Keep going. Back to the corner? Or do you want us to go back that way? Doll. Doll? Did you throw the wooden doll off of the shelf? I don't know. Wasn't that what she said it was? Um, it was like a wooden figurine or like a doll or something? I honestly can't remember. I don't know. If you're using this device to say these words, can you use that device to say your name? Where'd you go? Don't you want to tell us your name? We told you our names when we came down here. Do you remember what they were? Back that way again. It was weird because we heard something and then came back this way and Ghost Tube started speaking for the first time. Yeah. Maybe if we walk back here again, it'll incite something else. Did somebody die down here because of the multiple floods that happened? Look. Look. Look at what? 
What are we looking at? <clears throat> We'd love to see something. It's coming. Ooh. Am I dead? We're not sure. We think you are. But you might be just somewhere else. What's coming? We want to know if you're actually speaking to us, so this may seem like a test, but I promise it's not. I promise we're not trying to make you perform for us. We want to try and establish contact with you or communication so that then maybe... Did you hear a beep? No. So that then maybe we can get a message to whoever you want to talk to. Farther. Farther. But I, I don't want to. You want me to go farther into the corner? I'll go. Dave doesn't like the possibility of there being some eight-legged creatures. Oh. Like that one that I just almost walked into. Oop. I'm moving out of the way. That was literally right in my chest, and I saw it right as soon as I was about to walk through it. Let me see if I can go around the other side. Are you sure you don't want to come over here, Dave? Positive. Okay. That was weird. There's like a... A, a light anomaly that followed you as you turned around and walked out of there. Really? Mm-hmm. Are you over here? Is that why you want me to come farther over here? Dangerous. Dangerous? Are you buried in this corner? Someone buried under that red light? I'm over in the corner now. We have a train coming through. Can you use the energy of the train to speak to us? Ooh. What? I just felt like a weird sensation on my left arm. Yeah, it's probably that spider. Okay. I thought I just saw a black shadow behind you, Dave. Right up here on these boxes, I saw a shadow. Like a dark, almost like a ball of sh darkness. Right here? Yeah, go from right to left across that box. And it wasn't a shadow that we were casting, I don't think. Turn your camera. No, it was smaller than that and darker than that. If you were standing behind me, that's okay. Maybe that was you, Manny, coming to see what we were doing. If it was, can you try lighting up these purple lights that are on the ground again? Or maybe making the music play over there like someone did. Who are you? We already told you, my name is Dave and this is, this is Ryan right here. That's me. I'm Ryan. Who are Ooh. you? That was weird. Is there someone at the front of the store right now? It's hard to tell how much the noise travels in here. I don't know, but it was like right here at the front door. Here, you want to hold Ghost Tube for a second? Yeah. I'm going to go see if, there's, if they're at the front door. Okay. If Jennifer and Mike are going out the front door. Okay. Okay, Ryan is heading upstairs. Just for a second. That's me. All right, I'm down here by myself. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, if you're Don't. If you're leaving on your way out, could you make those purple lights light up for me? If you're leaving on your way out, could you do that? Tree tree. Jennifer? So did someone go out the front door? No. Because you guys are back here in the office, right? Yeah, we haven't moved. I heard a really loud sound. We're all the way in the basement towards the front. It was a really loud sound right above us. Twice. 
like right by where the front doors would be. I'm down here by myself. Can you make one of these bright lights go off? All you have to do is touch one of them. It won't hurt you, I promise. You guys would have heard the door open, though. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Edward. Edward. Daft. He's on his way back down. Come on. Set off one of these devices, please. What is the date? I don't know, actually. March... March 4th, 2024. Not likely. Well, yes it is. It's Did March you hear me walk up to the front? It's March 4th, 2024. That's the date. Dark. I know. It is dark. Huh? Did you hear me walk up to the front? Yes, briefly. Did it sound similar to what we heard? I didn't hear anything. Oh, you didn't hear anything? No. Hmm. I didn't I didn't hear it. It's kind of weird. As soon as you left, Ghost Tube went crazy, and as soon as you came back, it stopped. Really? Said said the name Edward. Edward. But, I don't know. Do you want to talk to Dave? Do you want me to leave? I can go sit around the corner. If you want Ryan, this is Ryan right here. If you want Ryan to leave, can you try touching that red light right there in the corner? And he'll leave. Here's your device back. Should I be hearing things? No. You shouldn't be, are you? No. Oh, no. So Dave is live listening to the Loam Electro Ushis, and so he should be able to hear the EMF as it comes through, if anything comes through. And as he just stated, there's nothing coming through it which makes sense because there's no EMF being exposed to it right now. So it's an interesting experiment because I thought to myself one night when I was watching videos about that microphone, I said, if it can hear EMF and we try and use EMF detectors, why not? Is there someone that can go over and stand by Dave right here? Can you go over and stand right by the ladder so he can hear you? Lean up against that ladder. Close. Close. Ooh, and something just, sound like something just moved the camera. Not moved it, but touched it. Are you close to Dave right now? The doll. Again? What? The doll? Go up there and ask her if she's acquired any new dolls lately. Okay. Or if they have one of suspicion. Mm, I set it off anyway. Go ahead and set this right here. Yes. Okay, I'm down here alone again. Not here. Okay. That was a little freaky. I want to have a conversation with you. Can I interview you? I've got a microphone right here. I'm pointing at the microphone. Can you come and talk to that microphone? Say hello. I heard so, you say that was a little spooky. Yes, because have you are there any dolls that you've acquired recently or is there anything to do with a doll? Yes. There is? Yes. Why are you asking me that? I deal with dolls all the time. Because we were down there about 15 minutes ago, our 
talking device that we use. It's like an app, but it uses electromagnetic frequencies to select words, kind of like Jackie. an ovalus, which it just said something right there. It said doll. 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 I'm like, okay, just uh, could be something to do with a doll up here, but we'll just wait. Just now we were down there. Again, it said the doll. The doll. Again? What? The doll? And so Dave said, go up and ask her if Francis. there's something to do with a doll. And so I came up here and I said, okay, I'm going to go ask her. And I get to the top of the stairs and then it said yes. As soon as I got to the top of the stairs. 13. And it's just, it's speaking still. I don't know what it's saying over there, but what's the, is there a doll in particular that you think is weird? Okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you another weird story. Okay. So I'm third generation antique dealer. Yeah. My mother was a doll collector. She was a doll collector? And sold antiques. And her business name was China Doll Antiques. And I have a lot of her antiques in this store. Oh, that's weird. Right. Oh, I got chills. Me too. <laughs> when you said that, me yeah. too. Do you remember Ryan and I? From the last time we were here many, many years ago. If you do, can you light up these purple lights by standing next to them? Joshua, come over here. Whoa. Wow. Thank you very much. Something's going on. Thank you very much. Can you can you walk over and do the same thing to this one right here? I'll back up. Come on over here. Come on, you can do it. In the moment, Dave has no idea what just happened. After he asked someone to set off the tripwire. Do you remember Ryan and I? From the last time we were here many, many years ago. If you do, can you light up these purple lights by standing next to them? It actually lights up. Whoa, wow. Thank you very much. And then the REM pod starts to go off as well. Something's going on. Thank you very much. At the exact moment that this happens, the Loam Electro Ushi EMF microphones capture the sound of a new frequency entering the environment. A frequency that comes in strongly and holds steadily for as long as the equipment is alarming. Take a listen to the audio captured by the Electro Uji microphones amplified and hear for yourself. Whoa. Wow. Thank you very much. Something's going on. Thank you very much. too early to jump to conclusions and say that this EMF frequency is paranormal, as it could be a number of things. But what we can say is it never appears prior to this moment, and it doesn't appear again for the rest of our session in the basement. Could we have just proven, with the help of this unique microphone, that we can actually hear the electrical frequencies that are setting off our equipment? This could be a huge breakthrough in our investigations as we can utilize this data to better understand exactly what our EMF detectors and REM pods are detecting when they trigger. And I'll also say, whether it's coincidence or intelligence, the timing of this EMF frequency is strange, because it occurs right after Dave had asked them to trigger the device if they remember us. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments below. Okay, I'm coming back down, Dave. Okay. Has anything happened? 
sorry about that. We were having a very dis a very in depth discussion. Hmm. Yeah, I was standing here, and I said, "If you do you remember me and Ryan from the last time we were here many many years ago, if you do, can you make these purple lights light up behind me? They lit up, and then." This REM pod, REM pod started going off, and then the trip wire started going off again, and then it just kind of all stopped. Wow. We'll get this. Hold on, let me, let me take these off. So the reason I wasn't quick was... Tradition. That was me. Tradition. Is this a family tradition? Antiques? She's a third generation antiquer. Her mom had an antique store in California okay. called China Doll Antiques. She collected dolls. Really? Yes. That's kind of weird. And she says some of her dolls from her mom are here. Oh, wow. Hmm. But it was weird because you said go ask her about... So go ask her if, the, if, if there's anything about a doll... Yeah. I get to the top of the stairs. Ghost Tube says yes. Then it says not here. Okay, that's weird. Is her mother passed? Yes. Okay. Hmm. She said ask if... It, she, she gave us permission. She said ask if it's my mother. <laughs> oh. Well, is this Jessica's mother? Jennifer. Is, <laughs> is this Jennifer's mother? Jennifer's mother... If you're here and this is you, can you light these purple lights up? I'm lost. If you're lost and you need help finding your way, whoever this is, we don't know who it is. This is just the basement of the building. You can go upstairs and you can go out. You don't have to be stuck here anymore. You can move on to wherever you need to be. Are you trying to tell us something about one of the dolls? If you are, can you touch that red light on that bucket again like you were? That way we know for sure. Funny because all this time we were trying to talk to Manny and maybe it wasn't Manny at all. Yeah, maybe Manny isn't here anymore. Or at least not down here in the basement. Mm -mm. Or maybe Manny's only here when Betsy's here. That's a good point. As much as Betsy likes to think that Manny stays here because she doesn't feel him anywhere else, he may not. Yeah, just be because he's not made himself known inside of her house doesn't mean... He doesn't go to her property. Mm -hmm. But especially if they had such a strong spiritual connection. Yeah. I wish Betsy could have been here tonight. Yeah. Manny, if you're here, would you like Betsy to come down here and talk to you? You're listening. We are listening. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. I mean, if interesting ghost tube response is strange correlation between the fact that Jennifer's mother, her whole business was dolls. And it said doll, the doll. And then it said, go ask, Je you asked me, you said, go ask Jennifer about the dolls. It said yes. And then it said not here. Mm -hmm. I can't talk. Okay. Listen, Buns. Buns, if that's you that was talking about the doll... Your daughter would like to know if that was you, Buns. Can you light up these purple lights or the red light to let her know that you're here? So her name was Buns? What was her nickname? Her nickname. Buns. Man. Man. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. It might be worth it to do an Estes Method spirit box session upstairs. Mm hmm See what can come through there in the middle of the store, set up a few other pieces of equipment up there. 
Let's see what we can capture. Let's do it. Let's go upstairs. The basement was cool. But we don't know who we were talking to down here. Was it Manny? Was it Jennifer's mom, Bunny? Maybe. Was it someone else who's here from the many, many natural disasters that occurred in Marietta? The floods? We don't know. So we're going to try and go get some more answers as to what could be haunting this store and the people that work here. Whoa! Mail meter. Let me just step. No, that wasn't me. Now you plug this into there. I never found it. There was already a very clear man voice, man's voice that came through there. Light on. All right, and rolling. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Is that you? No. Is that camera getting that? I sure hope so. Yeah, it sure did. Scoot over to your left a little bit if you can. Or your right, sorry. So we can see the tripwire. I'm gonna do that. There we go, perfect. So we can see the tripwire, we can see the REM pod. Perfect. Okay. So apparently they're blindfolded Dave. And then you're gonna have to talk. It'll be fun. Let's just try this. Yes, Dave is gonna be listening and you can hopefully put your voice on there and he'll tell us what you're saying. So we'll ask the questions and then Dave will tell us what your answers are. Or you can do what you've been doing and Touch the lights to let us know where you are. Just play with us. It'll be fun. That's right. Are you ready, Dave? Whoa. Thank you. I told you it would be fun. <laughs> they like you, Jennifer. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot closer to them than you are. <laughs> That's right, yeah. You're here every day. No, I'm just closer to the grave than <laughs> you are. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm soon to be one of them. <laughs> I'll come back and find you. <laughs> then we will have fun. There we go. There right? we go. That'll be perfect. Yeah. I've always wanted to be haunted. <laughs> I will haunt you. Perfect. Right. Is there anyone here with us? Can you talk to Dave? He's listening to this box that we think you can put your voice on. Dave is over there. Yeah, that guy sit, sitting over there. Okay, is this Manny that's in here? Or is it my mom? And by the way, Manny, if you could say hi to my mom, that would make me so happy. Tell her I love her. I just heard a sound of your chair moving back there. Uh, I heard something back there. It sounded like, you know, when you stand up out of one of those yeah. rolling chairs, that squeak that you get from the spring when you stand up. I just heard a sound of your chair moving back there. We kind of had this theory that, do you think Manny is with Betsy and is only here whenever she's here? No, no, because when I was writing that letter, it was just me. Oh, it was just you. Mm -hmm. And one time when a piece of glass flew off the, um, it was just me. Okay. Huh. This is sounding really weird. Do you want me to listen to it really fast? Is it sounding like? It sounds like metallic, like robot -y. Oh. Let me see. Do you hear what I mean? Yeah, it's a little bit tinny. That's a little better right there. You have 
Dave. Yeah, that's Dave over there. You can talk to him. Continue. I don't know, who are you? Who's in here? Let's find out that. And then we'll find out who's been knocking glass off the shelves. Right, okay, you won't be in trouble because it didn't break, thank you. <laughs> but you had our attention. Or you can show us where you are by touching the lights. This one's gone off a couple of times. Or you can stand in front of this music box and it'll play music for us. It, was... it has. It has? Yeah, it, you did do it. Do it again. We like the music box thing. That's fun. Lonely female voice. Lonely. Can you tell us who is the lady? Can you tell us your name? Answer. Cut the shells. Okay, so mom, if it's you, have you met Hollis? Speaking through. Have you seen her? Speaking through. You would love Hollis a lot. You would love her. And I'm so sad you didn't get to meet her. And yes, we think you're speaking through Dave. Can you try and answer Jennifer's questions? He hears. He hears. He hears? Who, Manny? Dave didn't hear it at the time, but right after I asked if Manny is the one who hears us, a very quick man's voice comes through the spirit box, and it sounds like he sang the name Manny. Could this be confirmation that Manny is still here inside this store? Listen again and tell us what you hear. Who, Manny? Just to tell either one of you, whoever is talking to him, it would be really cool if you could just tell the public to shop at Green Acres. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> that would help me out. And you could stay here then. <laughs> so we don't get a skateboard shop because you would not like a skateboard shop in here. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Do you like to be around all this fun stuff that reminds you of your past? Her. Yeah, we're wondering who is who is the her that you're speaking of? Can you give us a name? Goodbye. Goodbye. No, no. Don't you know, leave. We don't want you to leave yet. We want to talk. We want to know if you can hear us and see us. That's the whole reason why we're here. So this is not a test to make you perform. We just want to know if you can see us. And if you can, can you tell Dave... How many fingers I'm holding up right now? How many fingers do I have right here? Just document it. Can you tell him that number so that he can tell us and then we'll know that you can see us? And you can tell us that number at any time. It doesn't have to be now. How? We think if you just get close to him and stand there, that he'll be able to hear you. How long have you been here? And if you want, none of this breakable stuff oh, is on the ahead. table here. Go ahead, break whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> but these lights that you've been setting off, you can knock those over. We don't mind about that. We don't want to ask you to break Jennifer's stuff. But you see this thing with the box with the light there? You can knock it off of there. This music box that's on the drawer, you can knock it down. Or this yellow thing over here on the corner. You can also knock it down. I told you you could have fun here. 
This is all set up for you to play with. Did you hear that? Something was moving over here in our equipment. I don't know what that was that was moving. What are these for? <laughs> They're here for you to talk to us. What are these for? I wonder if they were messing with something of yours. Maybe. That's interesting. I heard like it sounded like something rustling around in this bag right here. And then it said, what are these for? Interesting. I don't know what that was that was moving. What are these for? We brought a bunch of stuff that we can use to talk to you or stuff that you can use to show us that you're here. I would love to hear the music box. Yeah, can you do that like you did downstairs? Just step in front of it. Right over here by the between the window and us, can you walk right through here? And it'll play a music. And if you were downstairs, you heard the music. We can try and use this too, since you were using it in the basement. You can hold it if you want to. And you can use that to talk. And also, you can talk back and forth. Use the box, use Dave. If you can send us the same message, that would really tell us that you can use these, these things to talk to us. Dave's been awfully quiet over there. Have you not been talking to him? Ooh, tripwire just went off back behind him. I saw the light on the ceiling. It just went off again. Are you back there behind him in this hallway? I might take a walk back there really fast. I'll be right back. Okay. Are you back here? I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Okay. Is there someone back here? Were any of these dolls back here hers, Jennifer? Uh, they could have been. I think there actually there could be some of hers. I know there's some of hers in this case. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I just saw this doll right here sticking out of the the drawer. <laughs> nope, not that one. Not that. She one. had better dolls. <laughs> Interesting. I'm going to swing this chair back here. So we're going to do another thing. So our friends in Australia are in inventors, paranormal inventors. And they came up with, so it's kind of like the thing we were just using, which is ghost tube, which like I said, uses mag magnetic reading, selects words. This works in the same way, but it'll collect multiple words that it says. And then it'll use an AI image generator to give you a picture. So it's kind of like simulating psychic visions in a way was kind of the idea behind it. So we've had some really creepy images come through here. Not all of them have been creepy, but I just want to try this to see if anything comes through that might be relevant. And I'm going to be wearing it through this VR headset. And then I'll call out and tell you guys what I'm seeing. Okay, I'm starting a seer session. I am recording. All right, and we'll see what comes through. Okay see if there's anything relevant. All right, Ryan is starting a seer session. We're gonna see if anything relevant comes through here at Green Acres. Okay, I already have an image. Um, it is a very creepy looking little girl in a white dress with black eyes. Oh. 
and there's like wooden walls beside with a doorway and it's very dark in the background. I kind of see some boxes and pillars in the background, concrete floor. Like a basement? <laughs> it kind of like, looks like a basement. Just like our basement. <laughs> yeah. Does it look like the basement downstairs? It's too dark back there to know for sure, but I got very basement vibes from it. Okay. Can you show us? Is that what? Is there a little girl down in the basement? Manny, if you're here, can you show Ryan an image that means something to you? If you can figure out how to use it. We'd love to see what you have to say or what you'd like for us to see. Why does it feel so creepy in the basement? Did something happen in the basement? Manny, if you're here, can you do this? Manny, if you're here in the shop, can you let us know somehow by making a noise or setting off one of these devices we have set up? Oh, we're generating. Okay, there's an image coming through. Let's see what it is. It is <laughs> not really relevant. It looks like a palace of some type. Hmm. Probably environmental noise if I had to guess. A palace. Oh. I don't know if I told you how to use this. If you get close to me, you can use your energy to select words and then the words will show me pictures. So all you have to do is select words that are meaningful to you and it's like a it's like you're do it you're you're an artist. You can paint me a picture with your words. How come you stopped setting off all of our devices? Someone was earlier. Someone was touching the little red and green and purple lights that we have set up around here. Or maybe... Since you don't seem to be, you might be using this to talk. I don't, I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to tell. Oh, we got another one coming through. It is, I see very faint green like grass. I see trees and then it's very foggy. It's like a foggy park almost, but you can't see anything because the fog is so thick. Hmm. I think that's my brain right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is all just an experiment. We don't know if you can use any of this stuff to talk to us because nothing has ever been proven about the paranormal or about energies or spirits, but we'd love to find out if you can. We've had experiences in the past where people have been able to use this to show us a picture of themselves. Oh. That's Dave. Sorry. Can you show us a picture of yourself? Oh, we got an image. What do we got? Is it Manny? It is a foggy park again. But there's a man in a long trench coat, a silhouette of a man in a long trench coat. Huh. <laughs> it's consistent at least with foggy, with like fog and trees and stuff. Yeah. It is, it seems to be using whatever it's picking up in the environment to make these images or else you wouldn't get two similar images back to back. Right. I'm gonna stop this. 
so bizarre you guys it just got super quiet up here we had some interesting stuff happening in the basement down there when we first started and then when we first came up here and got started as well it was somewhat interesting and it just seems like everything kind of quieted down so what do you think ryan do you want to go ahead and set up abandonment and see what happens when we're gone yeah i think it's time for us to set up these cameras and you never know what happens in these places when there's no one here to experience the activity so we set up these cameras leave them roll maybe all right it's official we're getting ready to leave green acres of marietta formerly the turquoise spirit yeah completely empty see what these cameras pick up while we're gone we have a camera in the basement pointed on one side of the basement and we have another camera on the opposite side since there's that divider wall in between yes we'll see what those capture and then we have another camera here on the first floor the first floor is pretty pretty easily seen from one camera so this will do the trick we have equipment scattered throughout you never know what it's going to pick up on right you never know you have no clue until you watch it back so all right let's go but before we go we're leaving! I'm trying to be quiet because there's people that live here. We're leaving. Excuse me. We're back. We're back. Well, Manny, if you're here, we hope you talk to us. What a night, huh, Dave? It has been a night. Hopefully Manny came out and talked to us during abandonment here. I hope so. We had a lot of activity down there in the basement. There was a really interesting presence down there. And even though we didn't capture definitive paranormal activity that we know of yet, I think we definitely did prove to ourselves that that basement has energy and possibly some strange activity. Absolutely. Yeah, there's definitely something strange going on down in the basement here of Green Acres. Yeah, so this is a place that is near and dear to our hearts. This building has been with us since almost the very beginning of Paranormal Quest journey here on YouTube. And it's a place that we loved returning to and checking out and seeing if there was still activity here. And it is a place that hopefully one day we will return. I know that we are gonna come back here and shop just like you guys should if you're ever in Marietta, Ohio. Stop by and check out Green Acres of Marietta. There's a lot of cool antiques, cool glassware, amazing stuff to check out. And you can say hi to Manny Two Feathers while you're here or whatever <laughs> spirits might still be haunting this place. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you liked it, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you share it out and make sure you subscribe to the channel because we got so many more locations coming at you. Oh yeah. So many cool adventures coming up this year. You won't believe <laughs> how far and wide this is gonna get. And how, <laughs> I saw your face there. How intense and extreme this is gonna get too. Be ready guys. Thank you so much. Peace, love, and ghosts, paranormal quest style. That's right.
Bye. Bye.